Hi there, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a memory slideshow photo effect just like the one you just watched. We are going to use Canva to do this, so let's jump right into this. So when you open Canva, all you need to do is to click on video. So first go to elements and search for photo frame. Click on see all and then you can pick any frame of your choice. So here I'm going to use this one. Okay, so this is actually a frame I want to use. You can actually modify this frame. So all I need to do is I actually want to change this color right here. So I want to just make it this way, the frame, but I want to make it white, okay? So we're actually going to add images inside this frame. So all I will do right now is to go to uploads and then upload my images, okay? I've actually uploaded my images, but whatever you have your images, just click on files and then add them. So I'm going to add this image to my frame like this. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is that the next thing you want to do is that we want to change this image into a black and white. So we want to apply that effect. So select that and then go to edit image. And then scroll down to filters and then click on see all. Scroll down and then go to mono. So under mono, you can see, scroll down to you see mono. So under mono, you can see we have classic, we have ink. And then other effect over here you can pick any of these to make it black and white i'm going to select this and then you can see and then you can see it has transformed my image into black and white if you want to add some shadow effect to this as well you can do that when you click back here you can see here under effect we have shadow so click on that and then i'm going to use this drop shadow in order to add some drop shadow to my image now we're going to download this image onto our computer but we want it to have a transparent background okay so just go to share on share you want to download this as a transparent background and then go to download and then make sure you select the png file type and then select transparent and then download this to your pc After downloading, upload this back to Canva. So remember, you are going to repeat this process for the images you want to use in your slideshow. So I'm going to delete this. I'm going to delete this entire image. And then I can add this. So once you are done, you download your images as PNG. Make sure you add them all onto your screen like this. So you can actually add the entire image into one screen like this okay so i've already done that for some images that i want to use so all i need to do here is i'm going to add them to my screen and then just adjust them they are all going to be on one screen like this they're all going to be on one screen just add them with a transparent background you add them onto your screen just like this they can be overlapping and there's nothing wrong with that okay so just go ahead and add all your black and white images like this on one screen. Just make sure it will not cover the face of any of the images here. And then you actually go ahead and then resize them. Okay. I'm actually going to add the last image here. So I'm going to add the final image, which is actually this one. Okay. So I'm going to add this. And then I still want to resize this a bit. Now what I want to add next is that I want to add a wooden background for this image. So go back to element and then search for wooden. And then this will be under photos. So search for any wooden background and then right click and set this as background. So you're going to get something like this. You can still adjust your images the way you want. So this is how the final work is going to happen. This is how the final work is going to be like. So we actually need to download this as JPEG. So set this as JPEG. You need to upload this back to Canva once again. So I'm going to upload this back to Canva. And then I'm going to add this on a new page. 
So make sure you resize this as now one image. Just make sure you resize this. I'm going to delete the first page now. And then I'm going to deal with just this. I'm going to set the time to just about three seconds like this. And then select this and then go to animate. And I'm going to use a brief animation. So use this. You can enlarge this a bit. You can enlarge this a bit if you want to. So I'm just going to enlarge this a bit, something like this. So now go ahead and click on duplicate and then duplicate this. So for the first one, we're going to target every individual image. Okay, so here, just try and zoom in on every individual image. So for the first one, I want to focus on this particular image. So I'm going to zoom in on this particular image right here. Okay, and then click on duplicate again. And then for the next one, you focus on a different image. So we're just going to drag this to a different image like this. And then we're actually going to repeat this process for the rest. Okay. So for this, I can actually go for another image. So when you move to the next one, just make sure you select a different image. I'm going to focus on this. Click on duplicate. And then for this one, I'm going to move to this image right here. And duplicate this again until until I cover the entire images. Okay, so I'm gonna move on another image. I'm gonna move on this image, and then for the last one, when I duplicate this one, I have another image here. I have another image here, and then I'm gonna focus on this. And now between this, click on this and add some match and move transition, and then go to apply between all pages. Okay, so it's going to apply this effect on all pages. So you should be getting something like this. So this is basically all we want to get. So it's going to move from image to image like that. And then it will actually give you the desired results you actually want. Okay, so I'm actually going to add some music behind this. And then it's going to be very nice. It could be your own music or downloaded music. I've already added some here, which I'm going to apply this. So this is actually going to give me something like this. So this is what you get and then you can download this as a video so go to share and then go to download and then make sure this is set to mp4 and then when you download this you should be getting a video just like what i'm going to play to you so basically this is how to create a memory slideshow photo effect using canva like subscribe for more videos like this like coming away again bye bye